Leo likes him young. Everyone and their mom knows that by now. Imagine now that his age cutoff for partners, which is 25 by the way, in case you've lived under a rock recently, applies to video games. He would miss a ton of masterpieces, the poor guy. A lot of really fantastic ones have just crossed the line this year and are now officially too old for Mr. DiCaprio. Let's go back 25 years. It was the glorious year of 1997, and you might not know it, but back then there were already so many fantastic video games out there. Final Fantasy VII, I'm sure you've heard of that one. It's now officially too old to be played by Leonardo DiCaprio, one of the most groundbreaking and influential games of all time, often cited as one of the greatest games ever made. Cloud, Tifa, Aerith, everyone still loves them and it's all just great, but Leo can't play it anymore. How sad. It's not just Final Fantasy though, even though that is a huge one. The year was chock full with classics, especially with the Nintendo 64 being brand new. One Stone Cold classic from that console and which Hollywood's golden boy doesn't get to enjoy anymore is GoldenEye 007. It completely revolutionized the genre, not just popularizing shooters on console, but also split screen multiplayer in general. Then we've also got Mario Kart 64. Okay, the sequels are all better, so DiCaprio probably won't be too sad about this one. But what about Diddy Kong Racing and Star Fox 64? Those are gone forever as well. 1997 had more than just Nintendo though, obviously. Other insane games came out in that year, like, um, I don't know, Resident fucking Evil? A huge ass franchise, a legendary game series, the entire genre of survival horror was born right here. By the way, Sony's first home console was flying in 1997, being at the peak of its life after coming a few years prior. We already talked about Final Fantasy, but what else was there? How about Castlevania, Symphony of the Night? Everyone loves Metroidvanias, and this is the one to play. Never to be touched again. There's so many more. Gran Turismo, Monster Rancher, Oddworld, Ace Combat 2, and let's not forget Parappa the fucking Rappa. There's so many brilliant games here, we can't possibly even name all of them. Fallout, The Curse of Monkey Island, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Dark Forces 2, Diablo, Crash Bandicoot 2. DiCaprio's gaming collection is getting thinner by the day, and this year he lost some real gems. Now, we hope he played through Ocarina of Time already. If not, hurry up, Leo, you only have 14 months left for that one, and we know how busy you are, so chop chop. That's all from us today. Check out our other videos on earlygame.com and on YouTube. See you next time.